The strongest class normally characters ranked, going from weakest to strongest, and it's split down by different categories. Watch the entire video to learn more from characters that you may have not considered to be on this list. Some will be longer than others for reasons, obviously, but I hope you enjoy. We first start off with low-tier characters in Classroom Elite. This includes not just students, but also teachers and all alike. Also, understand that not every character fights on this list, so we have to be aware that some are just going to be judged by different aspects, which can either be minor or more significant, along with some characters not having all their information revealed. So enjoy any fun facts you learn. Starting off with Mashima Tominari, Class A's homeroom teacher, a middle-aged man that was described to be tall and has a solid physique. During Year 2 Volume 7 student council incident, Mashima had taken a kick from Yagami Takuya and a punch right after which immobilized him until he was escorted out with the help from others. So he really didn't need to do much there. Next we have Kiriyama Ikuto, the student council vice president, was a student which always was held in high regard by the school and his class itself. With an overall OA ranking of B+, and a physical OA around that range. Kiriyama is a competent student who can be described as above average. Despite us not being given information regarding his abilities, in Year 2 Volume 4, he together with a group of third years attempted to hold off Koenji from progressing any further in the exam. However, that was unsuccessful. Next is Masumi Kumuro. The reason she is on this list is pretty simple. She has a B plus on the OAA ranking, which is higher than Suzune and Ibiki, meaning that she is better in certain aspects than some of the most athletic girls in Advanced Nurturing High School. And the fact that Sakinagi selected her to be her personal bodyguard and assistant, together with the fact that she is implied to be more of a delinquent than an honor student, it's very possible she has some fighting experience and knowledge as well. Ryo Kondo, one of the three people that took part in Ryo's plan to frame Sudo for untolerated violence, he is the member of the basketball club that almost certainly has fighting experience outside of the Year 1 Volume 2 incident. Nothing more can be said about him, however. Also, he is the weakest out of the three attackers that attack Sudo. Kohei Kataragi. Kataragi is a very large guy, and that is because he has a large amount of muscular mass. So he would be very strong in things like lifting or grabs. His durability should be way higher than average. However, it is incredibly likely that this is the only thing he has up his sleeve. So this is why he isn't that much higher. Shibata So, a very athletic member of Ichinose Hanami's class, with fantastic strength and even more significant speed. Him being the winner of the sports festival in his year. He has A- minus on the OAA ranking, and even if he is not mentioned to be an experienced fighter, he has excellent adaptability in any physical situation, as he had proven in Year 2 Volume 4, described as one of the most reliable students of Ichinose's class. And of course, Volume 5, where he managed to outclass Sudo, Held by the latter's absences. Now we have Hirata Yosuke. Even if his teammate on the football team, Shibata, has a slight edge over him in aspects like agility, strength, and speed, what Hirata makes up for is his experience from middle school, when at one point he dominated his class using force, implying that he managed to gain control over other boys by dominating and intimidating them. He is way above the average in physical ability and also has some experience regarding fighting, at the very least. In Year 2 Volume 11, he also attempted to overpower Koenji, but to no avail. Miyake Akito. He was stated to be an ex delinquent hearing about Ryun and Hosen since middle school. He has decent stats on the OAA ranking, and he was one of the Class D members supposed to run in the relay. He is also confident in his ability to defend himself to a certain extent, as he was the one person who decided to take Ryun in his group in the mixed training camp. But he also said that he wouldn't want to fight Hosen any day of the week. Kyogo Komiya. One of the Class C members who assaulted Sudo. Komiya is a basketball player with great stats, fighting experience, and proven adaptability in the second year island exam. He has decent physical stats, being one of the strongest people in his class alongside Ishizaki, Albert, Ryuin. Ishizaki Daichi, presented as a middle school delinquent and a main member of Ryuin's gang, Ishizaki was feared for his troublemaker past and ability to fight. He is strong and experienced enough to overpower above average fighters like Hirata. His downsides are his speed and his decision making in combat. For example, when he starts yelling, while attacking Anakoji in Year 1 Volume 7, only helping his opponent instead. Fuka Kirian. Kirian, despite being a girl, manages to outclass above average men in a fight for sheer stats and adaptability, despite having zero fighting experience, as she had stated. Kirian has A plus on the OAA ranking, which is absolute OP. Her travel speed should definitely be comparable to some of the faster people on this list, and her strength should be considered way above average for a girl. In Year 2 Volume 4, during Anakoshi's encounter with Tsukashira and Shiba, she managed to hold out against a non-serious Shiba for 2 minutes, which, for an experienced fighter, is an impressive feat. However, it's necessary to point out that Shiba wasn't trying to even hit her. 
and was only fooling around. The last important thing to mention is that she managed to score in the top 10 alone during the second year island exam, which only proves excellent stamina and endurance. And with our last low tier, which by the way isn't bad because these are the strongest, not a lot of people are on this list by the way, so take that into mind. We now have Ryuji Kanzaki. Kanzaki has exactly the same feat as Kurin, managing to place top 10 solo on the island exam, which again only shows excellent endurance and stamina. The reason he is ranked above Kurin is because of his very likely superior physical strength, the potential of having some fighting knowledge unlike Kurin, which was confirmed to lack any, and the fact that Kanzaki seems to hold back a lot of his actual ability looking at what he has been proven to be able to do. The narrator pointing out in volume 11.5 that he is much more capable than he seems and his overall importance in the future of Classroom of the Elite. Kanzaki is a strong student as his feats and OAA of being a B suggest. Now, before moving on to the mid-tier characters in this list, please subscribe to me. I want to hit 10k subscribers by the end of the year. I have more content like this coming into the future, so please subscribe. Thank you. Now, we start off with Masayoshi Hashimoto. He's one of the stronger guys of the school, with a solid B on the OAA ranking. He used to be a footballer in middle school, but he quit due to smoking. During encounters with Ryuan, he had proven ability to fight, and he was also ready to fight Kanzaki, proving he is confident in his fighting abilities. However, those don't really measure his capabilities, unfortunately. Due to the high OAA stats and ability to fight, he should be considered an above average fighter. Horikita Suzune. She is a fast girl with sharp reflexes and martial arts knowledge like Aikido. With an OAA of B+, Horikita relies on single hit knockouts as opposed to combos, as revealed against Ibuki in Volume 3 and her attempt at knocking out Hosen in Year 2 Volume 1. She also has enough strength to throw average guys like Yamauchi with ease, despite the fact that her health was deteriorating at the time. She's very agile as well, despite not relying on it, and combat speed in fights. She has excellent combat decision making, but lacks the raw power and the ability to overwhelm her opponent. Mio Ibuki, another main member of Ryun's gang, and an experienced fighter. With a B on the OAA ranking, Ibuki is insanely strong. As in Year 1 Volume 4.5, during the elevator incident with Ayana Koji, she was able to make a dent in a stainless steel lift using only a kick. This lifts Ibuki's attack potency to an unrealistic level of Street Plus slash Wall. No matter how you interpret the kick or what metal you use, we know the lift is made of stainless steel due to the anime showcasing it. Travel speed wise, she is able to go toe to toe with Harakita Suzune in a race. Other strong points of hers have to be her agility and flexibility because she uses Capiora in combat, a Brazilian martial art, relying on acrobatic leg strikes. Ibuki's endurance is also okay. During Volume 4, she still managed to compete in events and gain points, despite being completely dehydrated until Anakoji found her. Durability-wise, Ibuki managed to tank Harakita's hits in the spots like the Solar Plexus during their first encounter. However, against Yagami, Anakoji and Hosen, she had no chance. Anakoji himself stated that Ibuki would most likely win a fight against Harukita. Kito Hayoto, the strongest person in Sakyanagi's class. Kito, with an OAA ranking of A, is described as an elite martial artist. Sakyanagi sent him as the one to gain info on the first years and encounter Otomiya in Year 2 Volume 4 because Kito was the best person for the job. In Year 2 Volume 8, together with Ryun, Kito beat a group of boys hitting on Yamamura with ease. In the same volume, he competed with Ryuin more than once in events regarding physical abilities and skills like skiing. Ryuin Kakuru, a top-ranked delinquent that has way more combat experience than your average criminal. Despite OAA ranking being only a B, meaning in terms of pure stats he is only above average, Ryuin more than makes up for it with his immense durability and significant battle decisions. His strength stat is still impressive for his size, as he could still overpower fighters like Ishizaki, Ibuki, and Komiya with ease. He fights using a style he developed himself through the many fights he has been in, as Anakoji deduced, and he has an understanding of actual tactics both mentally and physically that make him gain a massive advantage in a battle. However, Ryun's best attributes are actually his endurance and durability. He resisted in his fight against Hosen's brutal punches so much it's crazy, despite taking insane amounts of damage and getting absolutely melted by Hosen. He managed to resist for minutes until his lackeys ambushed Hosen. By the end of it, Ryun was bleeding considerably. His enormous endurance is powered by his resolve. Next is Nagamo Miyabi. There are a few arguments as to why Nagamo was ranked so high. With an OAA of A, <laughs> Nagamo's base stats are very, very good. He is very strong, as said in Year 1 Volume 4.5 when Ayana Koji, after observing both him and Sudo play volleyball, 
noted that their physical strength is almost even. His speed is even better, as in Year 1 Volume 5, he was the one who won the relay and ultimately the sports festival. And in Year 2 Volume 6, he scored a first place in every event he had chosen to participate in. He's by far the best footballer the school has. Despite not even being able to train actively, he managed to completely outclass seniors in the match he had in Year 1 Volume 5. Considering how Advanced Nurturing High School is Japan's greatest high school. It's not a stretch to call Nagamo a football prodigy, meaning he is very agile and disciplined when it comes to movement. There were even rumours that Nagamo could compete with Manabu in overall skill. His downside, however, is the lack of direct feats he has, only being reliant on statements and assumptions. His durability is not to be underestimated just because he got knocked out by Anakoji, as Kiyotaka deliberately targeted a human weak point to knock out Nagamo as fast as possible, that being the diaphragm likely. Due to superior stats, except lacking impressive endurance and durability feats, and no direct feats or statements involving experience, except some small and insignificant details, he could be swapped with Ryuin. Riku Otomiya, still a mysterious character. This placement's rather hypothetical. Riku with an OAA ranking of A, has been praised by Hosen of all people for having immense strength has been referred to by Sabaki as their trump card, and has been expected to be able to attack and potentially defeat Kito in a fight. His speed, looking at the OAA, is not to be underestimated since every student with an OAA of A, except Albert, have similar physiques, and they are all extremely fast. However, if we go by feats only, he won't even surpass Ryuan. Pseudo Ken, a former delinquent with fantastic strength and speed, with an OAA of A+. Pseudo is versatile in all aspects involving physical abilities, such as combat, where he is very adaptable. He has immense grip strength when he managed to squeeze 82 kilograms during Year 1 Volume 5. In comparison, an average grip strength for a Japanese high schooler should be 45 kilograms. In terms of punching power, he was able to send Hirata at least a meter away in Year 1 Volume 5 during his breakdown. He is also extremely fast, as he was able to outpace every starter in the relay and gain a considerable advantage for his class from the very beginning of the race, which is expected of someone possessing an A plus in the OAA. Sudo also has considerable amount of fighting experience, as he showcased amazing skill and evasive maneuvers during his encounter with Hosen, as Anakoji observed in the fight. Nanase Subasa, a character that recently went up considerably in the eyes of power scalers. Nanase with an OAA of B+, is some of the fastest and most agile characters in Cote. She has fantastic reaction speed, as proven by how fast she reacted to the starting pistol, so much so that Anakoji called it perfect. However, in Year 2 Volume 3, when her Boku form activated, it showcased Nanase's true power. From Anakoji's observations, a hit from her is enough to knock out an adult, which calling impressive is an understatement. Despite lacking power, Nanase's attack speed more than makes up for it when it comes to attack potency. Her flexibility and swiftness are adding together as well to make Tsubasa a huge threat, even for people higher on this list. She also has knowledge of martial arts such as karate and jiu-jitsu which further implies her schemes and tactics of trying to deal with the massive difference in force between her and Ainakoji. Despite her size disadvantage, Nanase is able to knock out students much stronger physically than her. Next we have our last in mid-tier, being Yamada Albert. The giant of the second year is someone not to mess with. With an OAA of A, Albert has three main strong points, strength, durability, and simply sheer size. 190 centimeters plus by the way. His strength is just monstrous and comparable to Hosen's, who can lift an 80 plus kilogram pseudo into the air with almost no difficulty. As Anakoji said when he observed Hosen's strength in year 2 volume 1 and said that he is comparable to Albert in pure strength, his physique far surpasses the likes of pseudo or Ryuin. In year 1 volume 5 during Capture the Flag, he was able to overpower more than 5 boys, including Katsuragi and take down the enemy's stronghold. Just like his lifting strength, his attack potency is also very high to the point that in Year 1 Volume 7 during the rooftop scene, Anakoji mentioned how deliberately taking a hit from Albert is a bad idea, even for him. His durability is even more impressive. Albert is built so well that he is essentially an impenetrable fortress. Anakoji's short and fast body hits were futile, forcing him to target the knee in his face. His utter size makes it incredibly difficult to even deal proper damage to him unless you abuse weak points like the solar plexus. However, even that is almost impossible due to the fact that Albert is a competent fighter with good defenses. Now, starting off the high tier characters, which by the way, start to get way longer, so enjoy. Manabu Horikita, the best student of Advanced Nurturing High School, is very impressive even in physical combat. 
likely assuming he would rank at at least A in the OAA ranking. Manabu had proven to possess strength, speed, and martial arts training far beyond that of a regular student. Strength-wise, he should be at least above Sudo, even without referring to a very interesting statement Ainokoji made, which is questionable. During Gear 1 Volume 1, Ainokoji mentioned that such a powerful attack from Manabu would have been able to knock him out, which would mean that Manabu's attack potency is through the roofs. However, this is also at a time when Ainokoji was quite an unreliable narrator, so this placement doesn't take that into an account. In any case, even without it, Manabu's strength is very high. His speed is just absurd as well. Travel speed-wise, he was able to completely match Ainokoji Kiyotaka during the relay in Year 1 Volume 5. His combat and attack speeds are immeasurable. However, they are certainly close to some of the higher picks on this list. Reaction speed-wise, he was able to dodge a surprise attack from Ryuin while his vision was blocked by the snow in Year 1 Volume 7.5, without taking any effort as if he predicted it. Manobu is a martial arts prodigy. He is 5th dan in the Karate and 4th dan in Aikido both of which, on average, take 20 and 10 years, respectively. This is simply unheard of for a regular high school student, and only proves once again Manabu's superiority. In conclusion, Manabu Horikita can take guys much more bigger than him in a fight. He has the necessary knowledge and discipline to win seemingly impossible fights. Now moving on to Ichika Amazawa, the first white rim student on this list. Ichika, despite being a 5 foot girl, has everything necessary to beat some extremely talented street fighters and martial artists. Attack potency wise, she is so strong that she was able to send Suzune meters away in a punch, taking Horikita a long period of time even to get up. And she was so surprised that she started comparing Ichika's strength to Hosen, which she fought earlier. Despite her absurd power in pure physical strength, she is inferior to guys like Sudo and Ryuin, as not only Ainokoji believes that, but she herself said that she is only more substantial than most guys, which means that her power comes from something else, and that is speed. Speaking of it, her combat speed is insane, and while not being proven subsonic yet, as believed before, she is able to overwhelm fighters like Ibuki and Suzune to extreme extents. Her attack speed is even more ridiculous, as in Year 2 Volume 3, she slapped Kushida so fast that the latter couldn't even comprehend that she was hit, and Kushida couldn't even process the slap. Durability wise, she is able to tank half serious hits by the extremely powerful Shiba in places like the core of the body which affects overall performance drastically. Despite the severe damage, she was able to tolerate the pain, and still be able to easily handle Ibuki and Suzune, even mocking them. The only reason she was eventually stopped was due to the horrible condition she was fighting in. She managed to react to Ainokoji Kiyotaka's speed in Year 2 Volume 7 from 5 meters away despite being completely neutralized, contrary to popular belief that Ainokoji blitzed her. Martial arts wise, as a white rumor, her knowledge is vast and cannot be estimated until the release of Volume 0. However, for now, she did use judo moves against Mio and Suzune. Ichika, in the few times she showcased her abilities, had proven how the White Room's training could turn even a cute girl into a monster. Kazuyomi Hosen, someone comparable to Albert in size. Hosen is a delinquent that was famous for utterly destroying other fighters, such as gang leaders older than him in fights during his middle school days. He is so strong that you can't compare the likes of Ryuin to him. He beat Sudo in a fight with ease, even going easy on him. While Ainokoji observed the fight, he said that the punch Hosen had thrown to knock out Sudo could easily break the neck of an untrained person and ultimately kill them. Luckily, Sudo wasn't an average person. In Year 2 Volume 2, Ainokoji came to the conclusion that Hosen is so strong that even an experienced martial artist like Manabu Horikita has little chance of beating him in a fight. Hosen's lifting strength is impressive as he was able to lift Sudo in the air with ease when he grabbed him by the collar. You would expect Hosen to be slow for how big he is, but no. It's crazy to think how Kapiro using Ibuki is no match for him even in speed. He is just that fast. During Hosen's 1v2 in Tennis vs Sudo and Onodera in Year 2 Volume 6, there are three translations which tell different things, which can scale Hosen's launch near Onodera's face differently. Hosen launched a smash that couldn't be seen with the human eyes, targeting only to barely touch Onodera's cheek slightly. Two. Hosen launched the tennis ball at the speed of the bullet, which is just insane and scales him higher. 3. Hosen launched the tennis ball at the speed of a cannonball, slower than a bullet but still inhumane no matter how you look at it. Only one is correct, but these three translations only prove that the chances of it being hyperbole are pretty low. His attack speed is in the league of Ichigo. 
Rokusuke Koenji. Koenji rightfully has a reason to be Mr. Perfect, and this is without a doubt one of the most powerful characters of the verse. Despite lacking general combat feats, what Koenji has showcased so far makes him worthy of his position. His physical strength is comparable to Anakoji's, as during a 1v1 tug of war between the two, Anakoji admitted that he wasn't even sure who would be stronger between him and Koenji at all out capability. Another display of his strength was in Year 1 Volume 8, when Koenji came out of the forest stating that he managed to finish his encounter with a wild boar faster than expected, implying he managed to kill that wild boar by himself barehanded, either ambushing or just outpacing it. His travel speed is comparable to the likes of Manabu Harakita and Ainakoji as well, as he managed to run through forests at tremendous speeds, as well as swimming at speeds easily exceeding even the most excellent swimmers of the school. During Year 2 Volume 4, a group of students led by Kiriyama ambushed Koenji in order to slow his progress in gaining points. While encircled, Koenji eloquently managed to dodge every attack thrown at him, not giving them any chance to even touch him. Koenji was also stated to know Chinese martial arts, and to have been trained in the Amazon, which means he has incredible fighting skill and adaptability despite not showcasing much yet. Koenji honestly believed that he was able to knock out everyone from Mirin's gang during his encounter in Year 1 Volume 7, which I believe should be credible information looking at his stats. So he should at least be ranked above them by a considerable amount. Out of everyone on this list, he has the most considerable potential to scale much higher. Now, if there was another tier, these guys would definitely be ranked because now we are moving on to... Tokinari Sukashiro. The man with an eye mask who has been described as a jack of all trades, possesses immense combat skill and physical stats. In Year 1 Volume 10, Sukashiro managed to use the surprise factor to hit and grab Ainakoji by the neck, squeezing so hard on Kiyotaka that he couldn't speak. As Kiyotaka stated in his mind, the acting director's strength was bewildering and superhuman. During Gear 2 Volume 4, Anakoji had to encounter the acting director and Shiba together, describing the fight as one of the hardest ones he has ever been in. Yet, Sukishiro still managed to create the illusion in Anakoji that he is far inferior to Shiba. Sukishiro managed to analyze every move his adversary did, to the point Anakoji felt like he read 99% of his thoughts. Shiba and Sukishiro are way beyond the strength of Manabu Horikita or Ichika Amazawa, and their speed is just as ridiculous. Durability wise, Sukashiro managed to tank a few hits directly in the nose and an uppercut to the chin from Ainakoji, and still managed to regain his smile precisely afterward. He managed to take multiple, almost full force body shots from Ainakoji, and it still didn't stop him from grabbing the taser. Shiba Katsunori. Most could argue that him and Sukashiro are equals in a fight, which is fair. However, if you look at their feats, I'd argue that while Sukashiro has better durability, Shiba has better attack potency and attack speed. During the encounter, Shiba proved more deadly for Anakoji in terms of offense. As this quote states, I tried to turn my consciousness to trade damage with Shiba behind me, but something unexpected happened. I felt a cold mark on my neck and was forced to interrupt the counterattack. For the unpeeved time, I took evasive action to get away from Sukashiro. The sound of Shiba's fist swung slightly later, reaching my ears dryly. If I hadn't agreed to the damage exchange, I might have been stopped in my tracks. Shiba's strike definitely had the same power as mine if not more. This implies that Shiba's attacks are so blisteringly fast, they can be interpreted as surpassing the speed of sound due to it arriving later than Shiba's fist. We can also conclude that Shiba can match a barely suppressed Anakoji in attack potency, if not even surpass his. Now, Yagami Takuya, best white rumor of the fifth generation, but Yagami still has crazy feats. In year two volume 4.5, Ichika felt that Yagami's grip over her arms was so powerful that she had no chance to break free if she tried. This is the same Ichika that can send people meters flying. During Gear 2 Volume 7, with just an elbow and a punch, he completely neutralized both Ibiki and Mashima for minutes. In Year 2 Volume 4.5, during the same encounter with Ichika, Yagami managed to grab hold of her in such speed that she couldn't even react. Even though Ichika was being vigilant, with the intention of avoiding a strike at all costs, to the point where she wasn't even blinking. Ichika knew that letting her guard down on Yagami was a grave mistake, yet it was futile. That's just how fast Yagami is. If we don't include Yagami's statements, then it can be argued that Shiba is number two on this list by a narrow margin, but I see no point in doing that as Yagami's statements are completely valid. Now, next one is a bit of a shocker. I'm surprised to be honest, and you wouldn't believe it. Anakoji Kiyotaka, the masterpiece of the fourth generation of the White Room and the novel's main character. Anakoji exceeded our expectations so many times through his dominance in intelligence and physical. 
This had led to some overestimation and overglorification of his capabilities to the point where Anakoji was evaluated much above his current valid interpretations of both feats and statements. However, it doesn't change the fact that for now, he is the strongest character in Clash Melee. So to conclude, Yamauchi stops.